hi guys welcome back to my channel so i just did this intro and i realized i didn't turn my mic on i need to start getting professional okay <laughs> so uh i got a feedback on my last video where i tested the hsps week from novel supply uh in my nine ounce straight jars and someone asked that i should show when i wake up so that's what i'm going to be doing um I have been in the Kindle group that I've been part of on Facebook and I researched on it if somebody was using this jar and what success they've had with what kind of wig and most of them did not have success. I don't even think I found somebody who used a 36 and got a success or 39, 36 or 39 and got a success from it. So uh, most people recommended 47 and also 55 some people recommended 47 and 55 so in today's video i'm going to be testing the 45 and the 54 i just want to kind of bring it down a little bit before i kind of jump the hoops <laughs> so it's been exactly two weeks since i made this candle the last one that i tested so i am thinking i'll get a hot throw from this and this one like i said um my mic wasn't on when I started it, so it's already late. So uh, this one have 45 burning in it, and it's exactly six o'clock now. I I lighted it when it's six o'clock, and this one have 54 burning in it. It's the same exact candle, the same exact fragrance, oil uh, percentage, and I am just testing the week. Uh, I made this this morning, so I'm not expecting no hot throw from this one. Let's see how it do in an hour. So I'll check in and let you guys know in an hour. Okay, guys. So I was editing this video and I realized that um, I had to come and clarify some stuff at the beginning. So you guys kind of know where the video is heading. So initially, I decided to just test the 9 ounce straight jar, straight sided jars and kind of uh weak up but then when i was testing i just decided to go ahead and test double weak jars too in this video i'm also going to be testing the 12 ounce straight sided uh tumbler from kendall science as well and i'll be testing that with eco uh week and um cd weeks and also the hpsp week and one thing i keep saying in the video is hsps it is hpsp week so anytime you hear me say anything hs whatever whatever and it's not hpsp i am referring to hpsp i have edited this video and i know it's a long video because I am testing this weeks over three days period so you guys if you really want to see it be patient and see it through I really tested the weeks okay I tested multiple weeks so that's why the video is long so yeah I'm going to stop talking so you can watch the video okay guys this have the 54 and I think it's tunneling but we'll keep going and see maybe it's not maybe it's just burning a lot slowly this one right here sorry I poured wax melt on this table and that's why we have the mess this one is the 45 and it is also tunneling a little bit but I think that's when I'm gonna get a melt pool from it so let's see I'll come back and check on it again. This one is flickering more than this, even though this is flickering too. But this one is small, it's flickering more, the 45. So, yeah, we'll check back in another hour. Hey guys, I just want to show you guys an interesting thing, and this is just like a side note. I am kind of testing multiple weeks today. So, I have already tested Eco 1 in this jars and i really really like it it worked great but today i'm testing it with a different fragrance oil and i already have a complete multiple at one hour 
yeah that goes to show you that you need to test every fragrance before you put it out there because even though the eco one worked for a different fragrance it is not working for this particular fragrance but this is the same candle this two these two are the same candle and this is a cd4 double wick and it is doing great this is an hour i'll check back in two and see how this one is doing as well and yeah guys i made this candle today with couple apricot wax i am getting a slight hot throw from this but with the eco one i'm not when i go down and try to smell them this one smell and i just made it today so imagine i care for two weeks what hot throw i'm gonna get so yeah so far and this is very stable this has been flickering as well but this is very very stable and this is the cd4 and over here i'm testing another sense 2 and i'm using htp weeks which is also burning really 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 beautifully i'm using the htp 83 two of those and i really really like it it does not flicker like this is <laughs> burning great okay guys this is the size 45 and this is how it's doing um it's not i don't have a complete melt pool the, it's still left with the side to go it's been two hours i think it might get there i'm getting slightly a hot throw from this but not a lot so maybe it still needs some curing to do but it's two hours i'll give it another hour to see if it'll get to melt pool this one is tunneling yeah i think it's just tunneling but yeah that is the size 54 i will still keep burning it for three hours so i'll get to the three hours mark of four and see how it goes i think i'm going to be doing this video probably be take a uh, two days or three days because if i'm not getting the result i will size up tomorrow and show you guys how that goes as well so yeah uh this is how they are both doing When it comes to this one, the eco one, like I said, is it's at a complete multiple and this is just two hours. And the glass is fairly, fairly hot. This one is almost as a, at a complete multiple. There is still a little bit more to go. And I like the way it's burning. I like the way it's burning. Like I said, I'm getting a hot throw from this as well and this over here is also almost at a complete multiple there's still something over at this side and it's burning really neatly among these three the htp is burning really neatly but this is a different fragrance oil this two is the same fragrance oil the same percentage but this is a different fragrance oil so yeah it is burning really really neatly no mushrooming or anything and it doesn't flicker a lot this one flickers it's beginning to cause a mushroom a little bit just just slightly but it's fine by me this one is just burning really really hot <laughs> i think i'm going to go ahead and pull off this one because it's just really burning really really hot and i'm going to go i'm going to blow it off okay guys this is three hours and i still have a little candle on the side it hasn't gotten to a full melt pool yet but i feel i'm going to still live it for an hour the four hours mark and then maybe i'll wake up a little bit this one is still going as well it also hasn't gotten to a complete melt pool I can get a hot throw from this. It's not strong, but I can definitely smell it. So I'm probably going to cure it more. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to leave this two to keep going for an extra hour. And then I will turn it off. But so far, the wick is doing fine. It's just not getting to a complete melt pool. So maybe probably by the fourth hour, if it doesn't, 
I'll try and scrape the side and everything and then I will wake up tomorrow I don't know why the 54 is not giving me like a complete multiple because that kind of means that I have to wake up more than a 54 but I'm not gonna do that if uh if this doesn't give me a complete multiple by an hour, the 45, I will probably wake up to 47 and I'll try and wake this up to maybe 55 and we'll see which one performs better. Okay, so it's the third hour. This has gotten to a complete multiple. The glass is hot but not too hot. I turn off the one with the eco wick and this is the CD4 double wick. And the glass, like I said, it's not really too hot. And it has gone to a complete multiple. I like the way it's burning. It's just mushrooming a little bit. But I guess it's, I like the way it's, it's burning. And the mushrooming, yes, I would like to prevent it. But if everything worked great for me with a candle, I wouldn't mind the mushrooming. So let me check. The temperature on this jar is like 96 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty okay. This is which is fine for three hours. I think that is really great. And uh, the HTP83 is also doing fine. This is actually burning the slowest. But yeah, I like the way it's burning. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, I like the way it's burning as well. It's burning really, really slow. So I'm gonna leave it for an hour. Okay, guys, you're gonna start from here. It's four hours now. This is the HTP 83. It is at a full multiple at a four hour mark. And you guys can see that. I hope you can see that's like um, a little bit less than half an inch. Definitely, and like I said, I like the way it's burning, so I'm going to write a note on this. It is a plus for me. I will be using this week to test other scents to see how they perform. The CD8 is also completely out of full multiple. I like the multiple at this point. This glass is... Yeah, this is a little cooler than this one. Yeah, I like the way this one burned too, but you guys know, if you have used CD wicks, you know the mushroom. So it's mushroomy. Uh, that is not a problem for me. The reason why the wick look bent is because uh, I did not, I did not, I'm... <laughs> The reason why the wig look bent is because I'm doing a wigless test, so I just put it in there. That's why it looks like it is bent. But I feel like if you straighten it, it will look way better. But yeah, CD wigs create mushrooms, so that is not really a problem for me. I like the way this one is bending too, so this is a yeah yeah for me. Okay, guys. So this is the hsps 45 and this is how it is doing so far if it's gonna yeah there we go so this is how it's doing so far there's still wax on the side um i'm going to go ahead and scrape that out and then kind of size up a little bit i might test 47 tomorrow and i'll show you guys like i said i want to do it like a two-day thing so i'll test 47 tomorrow and show you guys this is 55 i do not have a complete mouth pool too and at four hours i do not like the way it is burning it is burning pretty okay don't get me wrong but i feel like at four hours it is burning a little too slow for my liking so yeah tomorrow we will size up this one and we'll size up this one too so let's see what happens tomorrow okay 
good morning guys it is a new day and i went ahead and put the wigs inside yesterday i think i said i was going to size up to 47 unfortunately in the um, sample pack they don't have a 47 and i'm believing they don't have a 47 at all because i believe the sample comes with every single week that is in the hsps series so like i said yesterday i went ahead and scraped the side of the candle just to create an even layer and i did the same for this too so today so today i'm gonna be testing 48 in this jar and i'm gonna be testing 47 in this one And also, I'm going to be double wicking this uh, candle size tumbler. Uh, this is 36, so two doubles 36. So that's what we have today. I'm going to go ahead and light them and then we'll start the game. Okay, guys, this is producing soot, a lot of soot, and the flame is a bit high too. The wick. It's like the wig is like crooked or something. I'm going to try and cut the top a little bit and see how it goes. It's not even the one hour yet. It's like 45 minutes. This one is getting to um, melt pool. But this is the 48. It's getting to melt pool. But um, I'm not getting any hot throw like I did yesterday. Not even a tiny bit. <laughs> this is burning really well uh yeah that's all i can say this is burning really well so i'm going to blow up the 58 yeah i'm going to blow up the 57 and then light it i trimmed it up but the flame is still big if we keep going like that i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off i know the wick is not sent it is still soothing like <laughs> I'm actually going to turn it off because I do not want to set my house on fire. Okay guys, it's an hour and this is what I have. Um, I think I'm going to get a full melt pool, that's what I think. The flames are doing better now but they are still flickering but no mushrooming so that's a good point. Like I said, I turned off this one. It is dry now. Yeah, I think it's dry now, so I might maybe try Premier Week in this one. I'll go look for it. <laughs> so this is also an hour, and this is how it's doing. There is candle at the side, which is not a problem at all, because it's just one hour. And this is actually been really, really, really good. Like, this is the best <laughs> among these three. So yeah, it's better really really okay. good. So I decided to actually switch to HTP week 96. This is how it looks like. Um so yeah, let's see how that one will do. Okay guys, so this HSTP week is disappointing me at as much as it is burning really well, I am just not getting a mouth pool. So this is what we have after two hours. And this one I changed to HTP93 and this is what I have after an hour. Uh, so let's see if I get a mouth pool after two hours. And this one, the HSTP double 36. This one is getting to a multiple, and this is like two hours. And I like the way it's burning. I like this one. Okay, guys, it's three hours. So almost a multiple, not quite. Um, I like the way it's burning. I'm getting just a slight hot throw. If I don't get closer, I do not smell it. But yeah, I like the way it is burning. So that's what we have here. I think I'm just going to let it burn for another hour. And then I'll see what's up. This one, 
uh, the HTP 93 this has been burning for two hours not not a complete multiple yet and I'm going to let it burn continue burning as well the double HSPS 36 is not at a full multiple and it's still burning quite well so I really like this one I really really like this one this one the, um, the HSPS 48 is not doing bad it's just burning too slow a tad bit too slow so I'm gonna just leave it for another hour because it's been burning for three hours and I'm gonna leave it for another hour and then I'll decide what I'm gonna be doing okay guys this is the HTP 93 uh, this is I believe two hours and it's doing is it two hours or three hours oh uh, it's doing pretty good I like the way it's burning I think I'll get a multiple when I keep burning it but I also feel like um, if I had wicked the jar before I pour the candle it will probably give me a multiple maybe it is just a little off center that's why I'm not getting that multiple and this is the HSPS 48 I am getting a slight hot throw from it like I said earlier um, yeah I haven't gotten a complete multiple and this is the 4 hour Mac uh, I think it's burning really really good though and aside getting the multiple I just I like the wig aside getting the multiple I might wake up one more size to see how it goes so I'm going to blow it off and I'll try and level it up again and then when it dry completely maybe tomorrow I'll try and include that in the video as well Maybe tomorrow I'll try and bend it again. So I'm just going to clean the side. And like I said with the HTP 93. Maybe if I have scented the. If I have wicked the jar before I bend it. It will probably um, give me a multiple. But that being said though. I think it's burning quite slow so i might wake up one size more but overall i like this week i like the 48 so we'll see how the next size will do tomorrow i don't know which size is the next one but we'll see how that one will do and this is a win for me uh i really like the double 36 in this jar um I don't know maybe tomorrow when I'm testing the size up for this particular jar I might test a wig that is is lower I'm not sure if it, they have a 35 or a 34 I'll test that too to see how that one will go but so far I like the 36 I like the way it is burning I like the 36 but just just we can just try and wig down and see how that one will go so uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's another day, so good morning. Uh, I just started burning this. It's the HS. Oh, I keep saying HSPS. Okay, it's HPSP week. So, um, yeah, it's this week, and I'm testing the size 51. So, that is. How it's looking now I just started so I'll check it in an hour okay guys I think we are getting um, a win with this one it's one hour and this is how it's looking uh, it's almost at a multiple but the, the inch is not big at all I like the way it's burning and the glass is not too hot as well too and it's in the middle of the jar so definitely the glass is going to be slightly hotter than if the wax was to be at the very beginning of the of the jar i need to change this number because 
yeah we tested this yesterday and now we are testing a 51 so yeah this is an hour i'll come back in two hours and we'll see how it's doing i'm getting a hot throw but it's not great at all it's very like faint but i can still smell it when i come into the room so yeah i think i might probably i will not completely blame the hot throw on the week um i think i might uh up the fragrance oil a little bit this is a 10 percent i think i might make it 11 or 12 just to see how that would do with the hot throw so i will really blame the week for the hot throw so yeah it's doing great i like okay, it okay guys so this is a little over two hours maybe 10 minutes over two hours and this is how our candle is doing just a tiny bit on that side this side is completely uh, melted just a tiny bit so like I said I'm liking the way this one is burning I wish I tested this earlier so this is how far it's going it is flickering just a tiny bit but it is in the middle of the jar so it's kind of expected so yeah We'll let it go for another minute. I be, eh, no, we will let it go for another hour. I believe by then, I'll get like a complete melt. Okay, guys, it's three hours now. I still have a little bit more wax on the side, but I'm going to assume that the wick is not scented. Uh, that is one thing about doing wickless testing. Uh, usually when you're doing wigless testing sometimes the wig won't be scented so it can create that problem it's not a lot of wax on the side that i would say that maybe the wig is not burning to the side i strongly believe it's because the wig is not all that all that scented so i'm just gonna assume if it's scented it will give me a multiple but um since i like the way this wig is working i'm going to test it again but then I'm not going to do a week less test and I'm going to use the same week. But I will wick the jar before I put my wax in. Just to test it again and see how it bent from the top through. And see how uh, how the wax performs when it's at the top and how it performs when it's at the bottom of the jar. So yeah, let me turn it around. You guys can see it's almost at a multiple. That's why I say... It might be because the wick is not properly scented so yeah I like this wig I like the way it is performing it is a very 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 nice wig and that is the HP SP wig 51 I got it right this time <laughs> so I'm going to blow this off that this wig will wipe for this jar and like I said you want to keep testing so this is not going to be the only test that I'll, I'll do I will still test it again and wig the jar before I test it so to see how it goes so if you're wondering what wig will work for this try the 51 and also try the H HTP 93 because yesterday the HTP 93 worked in this and you guys the double week as well you guys saw the result from yesterday I said I was going to size down I did not do that I kind of forgot to do that today but I'm going to do it later on in the day and when I'm editing this video I'll let you guys know if the size down work or it didn't work so yeah okay guys so i also realized after editing that i did not complete the video i did not film an outro which was something i wanted to do i just never got to it so yeah like i said um i am slightly getting disappointed with the h uh hpsp week just because i have to test multiple weeks before i get there it's like the size that they give you on the website is really really off it's not accurate at all the re their recommendation is not accurate even though i am okay with 51 that is something that i will still go ahead and test again i have some candles made that are curing i'll go ahead and test the 51 again and like i said i am going to use the 51 to make 
candles and kind of um wig the jar before i pour in the wax that's what i'm going to be doing and i'll also test other wigs like htp premier wig and see which one i prefer that but right now the hpsp wig it performed great like as in burning no mushrooming it gives you a beautiful burn but it's just now giving me the multiple that i want and also not giving the hot throw that i want and yeah the hot throw could also be because the fragrance oil is too much or is too little so that's one thing i still need to work with and play with the 51 because i feel like the 51 will really work and play with the 51 with different fragrance oil percentages so that's what i will be doing as time goes by i don't think i'm gonna be showing those just this is just a guy just take it from here and play with the wig that you want to play with so yeah so that's it for this video thank you for watching thank you for watching if you have watched the full entire video thank you for watching i appreciate it and i will catch you in my next video so until then stay blessed and beautiful bye